if it's an overnight culture, you're going to end up doing uh, dilution on it. It could also just be a culture, or it could say it is an already diluted overnight culture, in which case you don't have to dilute it. The only important part about all that is knowing if it is diluted or you dilute it, you have to account for that in your calculations, which is the second half of the station. So if it was to say, like, let's say it was labeled that this is a 1 to 10 dilution of an overnight culture. And let's say we take a spec reading and it's 0.5. That means when I do my calculations afterwards, I've got OD 0.5 times 10 to the 8th because it's E. coli. And then I need to multiply it by 10 because it was a diluted sample. And that gives me the original concentration. So for the proctored half of it, I'm just going to go through it. This is what you would do. There will be a selection of different sterile items in front of you. There'll be water, tris, TAE, all sorts of different things. The only one you care about, though, is LB, because the bacteria have been grown in LB, and that's what you need to use as your control, because you have to account for the color of the LB. So here is my sterile LB. And I'm going to pick up one mil. And it's very important that I go just to the first stop, go in, slowly raise my thumb, and then take it out. If you go to the second stop, or if you just take your thumb off quickly and it sucks up some indeterminate amount, you are going to lose points for the blanking because you did not put the right volume in there. And we do watch to make sure you pipe it correctly. And we reset the pipettes between each one, so they're not preset to what you need them. Sorry. Uh, we'll then take an empty cuvette. Do you have to wipe off the edges? I'll get to that. Okay. I'm going to add the Laurier broth. Notice I did not suck half of it back up into the tube. Yes, I did. Okay, that's fine for me. Thank you, Dr. Nathan. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I've added it to the cubette. Now, I'm going to take a Kim wipe and wipe down the windows. This part that I'm pointing towards you, if you're looking at me, is the window. This part, not the window. Doesn't matter. You can wipe that down if you want, but I don't care. The only thing that matters are these sides. And once you've wiped it down, you cannot touch them. If you wipe it off and then do this, it is no longer wiped off, and you're going to lose the point off it. Nice and wiped. Then, with the windows facing left and right, or the carrot on the left, whichever one makes you happy, they're the same thing. Place it in, close the lid, that's one that a lot of people miss somehow, and hit calibrate, or zero, or cal, or whatever you want to call it. It's that button right there. It's now zero. Notice it does say 0 .001 or negative 0 .002 at times. That doesn't matter. That is not enough to change anything. Don't keep hitting calibrate until you see all zeros. You'll go crazy. You don't have that much time. Then we open it up, take out the cubette. You can either dump the cubette and use it again because it was just full of sterile broth, or you can grab the cubette that's right next to it that was already cleaned. I would grab the other cubette just to save yourself the time. In this case, I'm definitely going to do that because I don't want to get green food coloring in both of these because then we'll have weird results. We'll then take the pipetter. You can change the tip or not. It does not matter. I'm going to go in and pick up one mil of the culture. Wipe off the windows. Place it into the spec. Close it and touch nothing. Don't hit calibrate again. That'll be a disaster. And we simply read the results. Oh look, it's 0.555. Very convenient. If the number moves around, don't worry about it. Just pick one that looks about right, seems to more or less be stabilized on, and move on with your life. Uh, once you have that number, you get up and move. Over to the bench right next to it where there'll be a seat and a calculator and some more questions, and you're going to be doing the math. Yes. There will be a calculator? Yeah, there will be a calculator there. But, but you, can, you can use yours, too. Okay. Yeah. No, you're allowed to use your own calculator. Just we have one there for people that don't have one. What if we need to do a dilution? If we set up our method? 
Okay, if you have, if this came up as a reading of 1.1, then what you would do is take it out, take this cuvette, add 900 mics of Lorry broth, add 100 mics of this, put it in and take a new reading. It doesn't take much longer. I honestly do not know if you'll be doing a dilution this year, or if it'll be... Hmm? You said add... It'll be 900 broth and 100 of this. Okay. So it's always that. You never need to do more than a 1 to 10 dilution on one of these readings. E. coli don't grow that dense. No, it's 5 minutes. Uh, some years she's had people do dilutions. Some years she had already diluted. And sometimes it was a freshly growing culture. So she's done all of the above. And she didn't tell me. And even if she did, I wouldn't tell you what you're doing this year. But she really didn't tell me. Uh, be prepared to do it. Um, but it's really no more difficult. It doesn't take long to set up. As long as you know what you're doing, everything is fast. The people that have trouble don't know what to do with fast. And there are people that just didn't practice it. I can promise you, if you don't practice this at least once, you when it, when you're under the stress of the, the test, you won't get it. I mean, it just 